Let's learn how to fake boiling water in Blender without using any actual simulation. I created this effect for my first Blender short film, which is coming out in a couple of weeks. I started by modeling a very simple utensil or a container for the sake of this tutorial. In edit mode, select the bottom face, duplicate it and separate it into a new mesh. This would be our water surface. If we add a subdivision modifier on it and apply it, you can see that the topology is all messed up, which will make the final effect look very bad. So let's fix that. I'm sure there might be a better way to do this, but I chose the surface, extruded it outwards to make a very thin cylinder and then added a remesh modifier on it with the sharp setting. When you apply this, you get a very uniform mesh with clean topology. Select all the top faces, Control i to select inverse and delete all those faces. Now we have a clean mesh to work with. Add a subdivision modifier on it if you want. Duplicate the surface and move it upwards. One of them is going to be our bubble emitter and the top face is going to be our water surface. Select the top face, go to the physics tab and add the dynamic paint effect. Add canvas to the surface and you can change the surface type to waves. Hide this for now and select the bottom face. We are going to add a particle system, so change the end frame to 60 so that we can quick preview it. When you hit the spacebar, all the particles fall down. So come down to the field weights and reduce the gravity to a low value from 0.01 to 0.05. You can change the seed of the particle if you want. Go down to physics and under Brownian, increase the value until it looks good to you. You can also increase the normal velocity if you want, but we don't want the bubbles to go very far past the surface. So don't increase this value too much. Next, go to the physics tab and add a dynamic paint. Type brush, paint source to particle system and choose our particle system. Now you can see that our particles affect the dynamic paint water surface in a realistic way. You can increase the subdivisions on the water surface and also shade it smooth if it looks jagged. Optionally, select the water surface, go to the dynamic paint tab and add anti-aliasing to it. You can select our particle system and change the scale, increase the scale randomness to get more realism. This is a very good starting point for our boiling water animation. You can also choose the water surface and adjust the scale influence and radius for different effects. Increasing the radius adjusts how the size of the particles affect the dynamic paint waves. But now we need to render these bubbles as something. So let's add a meta ball and go into the meta ball properties. Reduce the resolution to something like 0.2 or 0.4, however it looks good in the viewport to you. Now select our particle system, go to the render tab and select our meta ball as the object to be rendered with. You can adjust the scale and the scale randomness of this to make it look better. The best part about using meta balls here is that when meta balls get close, they mesh with each other, creating interesting shapes. Let's also add a turbulence force field to create more variation. Now let's add another particle system with some smaller sized bubbles. For this I duplicated the water surface and added a new particle system onto it. You can also remove the dynamic paint canvas from this duplicated layer. I used shift D to duplicate the meta ball and added it as a render object for the second particle system. I kept the size of these particles relatively small. Increase the scale randomness of these particles anywhere between 0.5 to 1. Now we have two distinct particle systems emulating boiling water. To avoid them intersecting with the container, select it and make it a collision object. Before we go any further, let's bake all the physics systems to reduce the load on the computer. Bake the particle systems one by one first and then select the dynamic paint and bake that as well. Make sure it's in this order. And now we have all the particle systems and the dynamic paint baked into the memory. Now it's time to add materials. Select the container and give it any metallic material. I chose one from Blender Kit. You can choose a material or make one according to your requirements. Next, select the water surface and make a new material for it. Give the base color a slight tint if you want or leave it at white. Reduce the roughness and increase the transmission to 1. Now select the meta balls and make a new material for it and we are going to mix the glass BSDF and the transparent BSDF. Add a layer weight node and connect the Fresnel into the factor of the mix shader. Also add an HDRI so you can see the water better. I was quite happy with how it was looking but it was time for one final step. I added a very thin cylinder just below the water surface. Select it, go to object and quick effects, quick smoke. This sets up a very quick smoke simulation for us that we can use to simulate steam. I set the resolution to 64. Select the container, make it a fluid object and change the type to effector. Now our smoke is going to get affected by the container. 
if the smoke is moving too fast, reduce the time scale to 0.5 or a lower value. Now go down to cache, set the correct frame length. You can also change the type to all and resumable and then bake the smoke simulation. Select your smoke domain object and make a new material for it. Remove the principal PSDF and plug in a principal volume to the volume of the material. And now our smoke simulation is baked and ready to go. And this is how I set up my and this is how I set up my no simulation fake boiling water for my upcoming short film. Stay tuned and subscribe to the channel because it's coming out very soon.